In this lesson, we will look at how to work with applying page borders and colors and adding watermarks to our document. In our document, we're going to go into the design ribbon and we're going to work primarily with this page background group. We'll work in the order of watermark, page color, and border since that's the order we have on the ribbon. A watermark is a great way for you to add an image to your background. You can also add text such as draft mode or maybe even your name. I'm going to go ahead and click on watermark. There's some default ones. Go ahead and click on one of those default ones if you'd like and you can see the watermark on your document. Go back to watermark. You'll see that you have the option to have a diagonal watermark or just a standard horizontal watermark. Towards the bottom here, you can search office.com for watermarks. I'm going to go ahead and choose custom watermark. When you open up the custom watermark window, you have the option to remove the watermark. Maybe you applied one, you don't want it anymore. Maybe your document is no longer in draft mode. Now, if you would like to use an image as a watermark, you can go ahead and select the picture watermark option. I'm going to use the coastline image. I'm selecting the picture option. My image is on the computer, so I'm going to click browse. And here's my coastline image. I'll go ahead and click insert. Once you have the image selected, it's going to display the path. I'm going to accept the default settings here for the scale, but we'll go ahead and come back to it. Down at the bottom, go ahead and click apply. If you need to move the window to see your watermark, go ahead and do so. But you'll see that image is now applied in the background. The image is very light in color because I have wash out selected in the printed watermark window. So if we go back to some of those options here, we can uncheck watermark and click apply. Perhaps it's a little bit too dark, so I'll go ahead and check wash out again. And then to the left of that option, you can resize the image. For example, I'll go ahead and choose 50% and then apply. And then I'll go back to the auto setting I think it looked better in my image. So I'll go ahead and choose apply with that auto selected. To use a text watermark, you have a third option here to use custom text or pre-existing text. Once you have text watermark selected, you can choose the language that you want to work in. Mine is English, so I'll keep that selected. And then you can use one of these text items or delete what's in that text box and type in what you would like. I'm going to type in sample. Right underneath you have Calibri as the font. I'll go ahead and change my font to Tahoma. Again, just like the image, you have the size option. Ours is set to auto or you can set the actual font size that you prefer. Underneath we have the light gray color but I'm going to go ahead and select this blue at the top of the theme colors. When I click apply, you can see what that watermark looks like. Semi-transparent is going to make it look washed out. And then here are the final two options of having the horizontal or the diagonal watermark. Go ahead and apply the settings that you prefer, then close the printed watermark window. Let's take a quick look at our document here. From the page background group, I'm going to go ahead and apply a page color. If you plan on using this document via email, page color might brighten up the look and feel of your document depending on what the content is. Now, page colors will not print by default. If you want the page colors to print, I'll show you where you can set that option within Word. Applying the page color is very simple. You can just hover over the different colors. Okay, I'm going to select this light gold under the theme colors. I'm going to go back to page color. You do have some options for more colors. Perhaps you have a RGB color code that you want to apply specific to your company. 
or you can use fill effects. If you choose fill effects, you can create gradient colors. You can use textures in your document. I'll go ahead and select one of the textures. You can also work with patterns and inserting pictures as well. So you have a few options on what your page color can entail. I'm going to keep texture selected. I have paper bag selected. Then I'll click OK. OK, that's a little bit much for my document. So I'm going to go back to page color. I can always choose no color if I want to remove it, which is what I'll do for my document here. If you wanted that page color to print, you can go into the File tab and choose the options at the very bottom. When you're inside Word Options, click on the Display section. And towards the bottom, you'll see a section called Printing Options. And by default, print background colors and images will be deselected. If you choose to select those, It'll be very resource heavy for your printer, but you do have the option to select and print that color. I'll keep mine deselected. I'm going to click OK. And finally, we have page border. Page borders are a great way to finalize your document. A lot of times they're used to create a flyer type environment or a certificate. Let's go ahead and apply a few borders and see a difference between a colorful border and a more professional border. When I click on page border, I see that I'm in a window with some options. So make sure you're at the page border tab. On the very left, you have the type of border you're going to apply. I'm going to choose the box option. Over here in the center section, you can choose one of these styles. Scroll through. And I think these create a nice professional look. Perhaps you're creating a training manual. Perhaps you're writing a letter. Now, if you wanted a more colorful or a more fun and attractive marketing document, you do have some graphics to choose from under the art section. Perhaps Hill Properties has an open house or an event that they want to celebrate. Here's an image that matches that theme. I'm going to go ahead and select the house. You'll see that it applies that border as a preview on the right section. If you just wanted that at the top of your document, you can start deselecting the areas you don't want the border. Play around with that in the preview here. Again, in the middle section is where you set the border. And then over here on the right, you can modify it further. So if I wanted to, I can change the color to this blue theme I've been using. And I can change the size. I'm going to keep it at about 24. I'll go ahead and click OK. Take a look at what we've done here. And that's how you work with page borders, colors, and adding watermarks in Word.